So, hello everybody. Thanks, Ben, for the kind introduction. Um, the slides, please, to start with them. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and that is also important. Just a second. So, there we go. Okay, I'll try to wake you up a little bit because it's, it's already late. So I, I have a bombardment of slides brought with me. Um, we have like seven or eight minutes <laughs> to present to you a pretty complex uh, project. So as written here, I'm Dominic and I have no time but 55 slides. Um, I want to talk to you about my little baby we are, we are, we are having for two, uh, two, two years now. It's called Open State. It might look something like that in autumn this year, close to Berlin. Um, because we really have a serious problem in the world, like Houston, like a serious problem in the world. But let me introduce you to somebody else up front. That's my little one, Jacob. He's turning a year in, in, uh, in, in, in two weeks. And he also says we really have no time regarding that project, uh, that, oops, regarding that problem. As most kids, he loves to fly. He loves to be a superhero and I think we really need superheroes <laughs> uh, quite, quite quickly because even those gentlemen, like Mr. Kim, for example, the president of the World Bank is saying, we are the first generation to know climate change is a dan danger and we are actually the last one to stop it. And Mr. Schwab, the founder of the World Economic Forum this year said, capitalism in its current form no longer fits the world around us. And I think he has no idea how true that is because that is our planet but our current way of consumption needs like five planets at the moment. We are consuming resources as if we would have five uh, uh, planets and the power of, of, of nature to redo the stuff we, we use. This is an animal. That's an extinct animal. These are five extinct animals, obviously, so that is what will be extinct after I left the stage again during that short time period. So 270 extinct animals per day at the current rate, which made 75,000 per year. Most of them we don't even know. That's the visualization of uh, the uh, Arctic sea ice extent between the average Arctic sea ice extent after the melting season in the, in the average from 79 to 2010. In 2012, we had almost like half of that ice left for the first time. 2013 was a bit better. This time, it, this year, it really looks bad again. Um, it was down to 3.41 million square meters. Uh, <laughs> that would be really bad. Square kilometers. And uh, the projections for 2030 basically says first ice-free uh, ice um, 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 summer at the North Pole. And that is not some left-wing, uh, uh, whoa, some <laughs> left-wing, uh, while talking about climate. Um, some left-wing thing, that is actually the U.S. Army and the U.S. Navy who are preparing, and the Russians the same, they're preparing uh, North Commands for billions of dollars at the moment, so the armies are there, that is out of the question, they are building their stuff because if that stupid ice is gone finally, we can dig for more oil under there. So to sum that up, um, our current way of consumption and ba basically of, 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 of living in our societies is no longer sustainable, and we are, we are coming to the, to the borders of what is possible within that planet. planet. An infinite growth and an, in, in, in a, in a, on a planet with finite uh, resources is in itself obviously a problem. So, to come back to my little one, what did you do when you knew? So that is the question I really fear, actually, and if you have kids, you might at some point in your, in your, in your lifetime get that question <laughs> straight to your face, too. Um, well, the plan behind open state is, as said from, from Ben before, building a small cell of a truly sustainable society. We start there because we are not politicians, we are not CEOs of huge companies or something, we're just average citizens. We are trained designers and communicators. And um, yeah, we think we could add something to building alternatives um, if we create solutions on an open source uh, basis, solutions that uh, do things differently than most consumption tools, uh, most consumption uh, goods at the, at the moment are functioning. 
And our role would be tell a story of hope, not of fear, show that that can be fun and that there's a different possible uh, uh, way and multiply that like crazy. So to, to go a little bit deeper, what is, this, what is this smallest cell of a sustainable society? What do we need? We need shelter, obviously. We need to live somewhere. We need water. We need to drink. We need energy. We need mobility. <laughs> That's a small shout out to Wikispeed again that you saw before. Not necessarily individual mobility, but mobility. Um, we need communications probably, and we need to, f to eat. So that are the five uh, areas we want to focus on for the beginning. Um, and yeah, we want to research those, we want to build those, prototype those, make them tangible, make them visible for the world. And then we want to enable others to fork, like in the open software, obviously, take what we build, make it better, adapt it to local needs, use, re in best case, use recycled materials, upcycle, up upcycling, um, adapt it to their, to their climate zones, to their use cases, to their budgets. Um, and yeah, we are lucky enough that all of those projects are basically built around the world. You saw some before here on stage, you saw others over in the factory that might become part of something um, like we plan with the open state. So the open state will gather open source projects working on those five domains, on alternative solutions. Um, we hope for like 10 projects for the first five week camp. Um, and hope to build a kit, like kit kit. Uh, and as said, we are the communicators, we are the, we are the designers. So our addition to all that will be, so that is, that is the plan with the whole camp why we do that, um, trying to build a different narrative and for that you need pictures. That is how media works, you need stories and you need strong pictures. It can't stay in the nerdy, uh, in the nerdy niche which most, most of the projects are today. It's all, it's all great that that work is done, but my mom never heard of that. You know, and when you when you think about the, the problems we have to tackle, then that needs a complete different scale at some point, and we can't just sit there and wait that maybe f out of nothing, the majority of people start to love open source uh, projects and and maybe repair more and 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 get into into doing things with their hands again and not just being being the lazy consumers, but maybe find the fun in building stuff themselves and 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 so yeah. Open state is basically an accelerator idea for existing open source projects to bring them together and tell a coherent story around the pictures and the narrative created in that camp that a different way of, of, of living in that smallest cell is already there. It's possible, it's fun, it's a little bit different, but it can work. It's not perfect, it's not, 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 not done by far, of course, <laughs> but it's a starting point to develop more into, into that direction and bring that into mass um, media, basically. So if we then maybe multiply all that, you come to that open state, hopefully, this autumn. So one final conclusion slide, why open source? You can ask, well, it's still consumption. Um, I think the main, main uh, advantages are that we, can, that we don't aim for, for maximizing profits first, but that we need to aim for maximizing circulation and implementation to tackle the problems we were talking before. Um, maximizing adaptation because the sources are open. It's easier to change stuff, to adapt it to what you really need. Um, by the repairability through the open source uh, uh, products, you might hopefully maximize product life cycle, so less consumption needed, but still keeping what you have, and, and it does it does it does a job. Um, maximizing individual freedom by not being more than necessarily dependent from um, from yeah to, to, to get more money to buy more uh, to consume more, and yeah it's all basically aiming for minimizing resource intense throwaway consumption. So that were my Eight minutes, time's up, perfect. Thanks for the photos, those were some CC used. And thank you very much for your time and also especially for your time that you contribute to that problem. Thanks a lot.